So hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is in my cabin crew handbag. So in case you don't follow my channel, I am full-time cabin crew. So I travel all over the world for a living. Obviously I'm not actually working at the moment because I'm furloughed because of the coronavirus. So my bag has kind of just been sitting in my room completely untouched since my last flight. So I just thought that I would show you what is in there and what I normally take on all of my trips with me. Also please ignore the state of my face during this video, especially my eyelashes, they are literally hanging off, they're so bad. I think they've been on for like two months now, pretty much since the start of a lockdown. But obviously I can't get them infilled because of the coronavirus and there's much worse things going on in the world right now. But yeah, they just look pretty bad, but I'm kind of too scared to get them off myself because I'm really scared that I'll end up like pulling out my own eyelashes or something. Okay, so this is my cabin crew handbag. This literally comes on all of my trips with me. I will normally have this bag, which I use as like a handbag, and then I will have my cabin suitcase, which is like the small size that will fit in the overhead lockers. And then on top of that, I will also have a topper bag, and then I'll have my hat box as well. I think this bag I got online, I think it was from a place called cruiseshoes.com, it might be cabincruiseshoes.com. I'll double check that and I'll link that down below and put it on the screen as well because I know it's a really popular place for cabin crew like loads of my friends get like their bags their shoes their tights all sorts of cabin crew bits from there so I'll definitely link that down below I really like this bag because it's really big it's much bigger than the bag that we actually get provided with and personally that's really good for me because I am so bad for overpacking I always take way too much stuff so the bigger the bag the better because I can just cram more stuff Stuff in it and I also like this one has a zip so when you're putting it in the overhead lockers or like wherever you're putting it on the aircraft it means all your stuff isn't going to fall out into the overhead locker okay so the first thing in my bag is my iPad so I take this on every single trip with me without fail honestly there has not been one trip that I haven't taken it because when we have a break on long flights, I don't always want to sleep because I personally am really, really bad at sleeping on flights when I'm at work. So often I'll just sit with my headphones in, I'll download a show from Netflix or Amazon Prime and I'll sit and watch um, something like that. And then also when you're down route and you're in your hotel room, if you're not really up to doing much or if you're just sitting by the pool, I'll often use it for that as well, just to watch shows or listen to music. I also really love the case on this because even though it's really plain and really boring it has this little pouch at the front which is so useful for my job because you've always got bits of paperwork for each flight and I always put them in here so I know that they're there and I'm not going to lose them so it's just really really handy and then there's also this little pen slot as well which again if you're a cabin crew you will know that you step on a flight with 10 pens and you come back with zero they always disappear so I always have one on here so I always have a pen handy because I know I'm always going to need one so I have this um, Urban Decay palette. It's the Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette. I absolutely love this palette. This is essential for me. Again, comes on every single trip because it's basically got like a couple of blushes, a couple of bronzers and a highlighter in there. And it's just so handy because it means that rather than taking all of those things separately, they're all just in one handy palette. Obviously I don't want my bag to be too heavy. So it's really helpful just to have them all in this little palette. Also always take this little makeup bag with me this was just out of a set from um, like a set of bags from Primark in here I've basically just got like all of my makeup brushes and then essentially like bits of makeup that aren't liquids because obviously my liquids will have to go in a liquids bag like when you're going through airport security so in here I've just got like a face powder a highlighter stick I've got about like five eyebrow pencils um, I also have this really cute little Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat palette. My best friend Emma actually brought me this as a present, but it is like probably the most useful present I've ever had because I've got like loads of the full size um, Urban Decay palettes, but again, they're just a bit too big. I mean, I could fit them in my bag, but it's just easier if you've got a smaller one because it takes up less space and it means I can cram more stuff in there that I probably don't need. So yeah, it's just handy to have a little mini one. And then I've also just got 
got like some things like paracetamol in here, a razor, and then some bun nets as well. So this is my liquids bag. This also always stays in this bag. I think I have taken a few bits out of it because obviously I'm at home at the moment. So I've been using some of the bits of makeup. This is normally like literally full to the brim to the point where I can only just seal it. These are just the little bags that you get from like airport security and the terminal. So I've always got my hairspray in there because my hair has to be neat for my job. I have got like my foundation and concealer and then just all kinds of bits of makeup like eyebrow stuff, lipstick, sun cream. These miniature sun creams are amazing because obviously I go to a lot of hot countries and my skin can burn quite easily. Not so much like in Europe, but in places like South Africa, the sun there is like intense. So I've always got like at least fat to 30, if not 50. And then I've just got like some moisturiser, shower gel, nail varnish and some toothpaste. Also got loads of wrappers from all the food that I eat at like 3am when I'm really hungry. I have this random person here as well and I don't know why I've never taken this out because this actually like matches the bag. It just came with the bag inside it and I don't know why I've kept it because I've literally never used it. I was thinking of putting like some hair grips and stuff in there but I just never got around to it. I do actually normally have like my proper actual purse in there with all my cards and stuff. Obviously I've taken that out because I've been using that at home like when I'm going to shops and things. I always carry this power bank in my bag as well. This is like one of the most useful things to carry if you're a cabin crew because obviously when you get to other countries I always want to go exploring and go and see new things and even taking loads and loads of photos and in the amount of times my phone has run out of battery and this has completely saved me. This one, I think it was just from Aldi, it was literally like £10 from Aldi. You can charge your phone twice with it, you can also charge your iPad with it and it's really handy because it has a little torch as well. And then I just keep this wire connected to it which I think is actually broken, great. Yeah, this little wire is just from Poundland, so that just sits in there. And then this literally never leaves my bag, although I do sometimes actually forget to charge this, which is really annoying. So then I have a power bank, but it's got no power in it. I also always carry a, well, I don't know why I've got so many, but I always carry it. So, so, so. I always carry it, tissues in my bag just because you never know when you're going to need them. So I also made myself this little like amenity kit just for when I'm on my break on the flight. It's got this really cute little eye mask in it. I got this from Primark. It was literally £2 or something. But I just thought it was so cute because it's got a little plane on it. So I thought that's so appropriate for my job. So I had to buy it. I always sleep with this on just because on break, like it's never quite like dark enough. So then I struggle to sleep anyway. So this kind of helps. And then I always wear it for sleeping in the hotel rooms just because of the jet lag. Like I always find you sleep in it really weird times and it's always like the middle of the day where you are, but then it's like early in the morning at home. So this is really helpful and essential to get some sleep. And then for the same reason, I've also got a few pairs of earplugs. I wear earplugs even when I'm at home, literally whenever I sleep, I'm always wearing earplugs because I'm such a light sleeper. So if I don't have those, I genuinely cannot sleep. And then I also have, oh, I thought I had two pairs, but for some reason I have three pairs of headphones. I've just got like, um, I'm not even gonna attempt to untangle these but I've just got like a cheap basic pair. Um, these are just like the really squidgy ones. I wear these with my iPad, like when I'm watching films on Netflix and stuff, because these ones are just so comfy. And then I also have the, just the Apple ones. And um, I don't actually like wearing these. I absolutely hate them because I just find them so uncomfortable. But because of my phone, it doesn't have like the regular, um, like little socket thing that this that this one would fit in so i have to take these to wear with my phone unfortunately but when i can i wear these ones because the apple ones are genuinely like i think they're painful they really hurt my ears i also always carry this pack of antihistamine tablets with me just because in case you know i have a bit of a reaction to something because i get eczema so sometimes my skin reacts to things and also a lot of the places that we go to there's like mosquitoes and things that can bite you and the amount of times i've been bitten and the bite is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger so i always make sure that i take these with me to prevent that from happening i'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking by the way there's a dog walking past and she's going absolutely crazy absolutely essential item that i could not work without obviously my passport so just like customers when you go on a flight as a passenger 
always have to take my passport this is um a really nice little case i've got this random sticker on it though i think that's from when i went to the metropolitan museum in new york no idea why that's on there but yeah this little case is just from kath kibson i really like this because it's just got a little section for your passports and mine just sits in there there's a little currency wallet as well which i don't use i use when i go on holiday but not just for work and then there's like a little boarding pass section, which again, I just use when I go on holiday. And then also in the back, I've just got like a little um, vaccination certificate. We have to carry this like on every single flight, just because some of the countries that you go to, they request that you have certain vaccinations. So we always have to carry that with us as well. I also have this big pack of dental wipes with me. Now I only put these in quite recently, like when all the coronavirus first sort of started kicking off because I think everyone was just being a little bit more cautious. So I was always um, keeping these in my bag. And then when I get to my hotel room, I just wipe down a few things, just like the TV remote, uh, door handles, things like that, like the taps as well, just things that I know people will have been touching a lot just to be on the safe side. And then at the moment, I'm just um, using them when I go shopping just to wipe down like trolleys and baskets and things. I also always, always, always carry my own cutlery with me. I've just got a little like, oh, it's not really clean. Love it. I've just got a little like picnic fork and spoon with me just because sometimes I'll take my own food to places with me. So rather than having to like call down to reception and wait for them to bring some up to me, I just always have my own in my bag. Okay, for some reason I've got one, two, three. I have three empty of like the clear um, liquids bags that you get airport security. I have no idea why. That one that looks a bit manky that's pretty disgusting yeah i don't know why i have so many of these i also have this little mitchum deodorant now if you think that being cabin crew is not a physical job if you just think it's waitressing in the skies <laughs> let me tell you that you are so wrong it is a very physical job it can be stressful at time i mean it's the best job in the world obviously but it can also be very, very difficult and very physically demanding sometimes. You are running around like crazy. So if you think you're not gonna get a little bit hot and sweaty or very hot and sweaty, then let me tell you, you are wrong. So I always have this deodorant with me because I don't wanna be smelly at work, you know? So that always stays in my bag. So I also have my winter gloves. So these are just part of the uniform you get when you start. These are just like black leather gloves. I always keep these in my bag, even though it's someone else. I don't know why they're still in there, but I know that if I put them somewhere else then I'll forget and I'm, I will lose them. So they just always stay in there. Um, for some reason I have a fourth pair of headphones. I don't know why I have so many pairs of headphones. These are just like some wireless ones. I used to use these all the time. They're just off Amazon. But since I got my new phone, they're not compatible with my new phone, which is really, really annoying. So I'll sometimes use them for my iPad, but I pretty much always forget to charge them. So I don't really use them that much. Also got one of the many pens from the many hotels that I stay in. I like always have the pens from the hotels because like I say, when you're cabin crew, people always steal your pens. You can never have too many. My hat box is genuinely full of pens there's literally so so many in there and one has clearly escaped into my handbag oh i was looking for that so i got my umbrella in here as well i was actually looking for this because i wanted to use this at the moment because it's literally chucking it down rain constantly at the moment in the uk so this is just like a uniform standard umbrella just a plain black one i always take this with me because even though we go to a lot of hot countries you never know when you're gonna get caught out in the rain and I absolutely hate getting my hair wet because it's naturally curly. I mean, it's frizzing now and I've straightened it. So when it gets wet, it literally looks horrendous. I think I just spat, ew. I also always, I don't know why because I don't really use this, but I also always have this um, Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in there. Um, yeah, I don't know why this is still in there because I've got the palette that I showed you and that has like two or maybe three bronzers in it. So I always just use that instead. So I don't know why this one's still in there to be honest, but I do like this bronzer. It's a very nice bronzer. And I also have a spare scrunchie. This is just like a velvet one. It's the black one. We can wear either black or navy. I kind of prefer wearing navy, so I normally tend to wear that. But I always leave a spare one in my bag just in case. Although this has been enough ages and I don't think I've ever worn it because it's like really dusty. And I have this really little, really cute hairbrush as well. I actually had this for ages before I started the job, but I never really used it. But now I find it's really useful because it's just one of those ones that pops out and it's got a little mirror on this side as well. 
and I use this quite a lot when I come back from my break because often when you've got your hair in a bun you don't really want to sleep with it like that because it can be like really tight and really uncomfortable so I'll often take it out and then when I come back from break I will do my hair again with this little hairbrush and finally I have absolute essential item I have a very squashed pack of nail files or emery boards whatever you want to call them personally like my nails they grow really really quick but they are so weak and with this job because you're constantly like pulling canisters down and pushing trolleys and doing loads of physical stuff my nails snap on every single fly without fail and then they're all sharp and jagged so i've actually got like a pack of these in my bag a pack in my toddler bag and a pack in my hat box because i just get through them so quickly because my nails just snap on every single flight So yeah, that was what's in my cabin crew handbag. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, pop a comment down below on what you thought, and more importantly, subscribe to my channel so that you can see more from me. And don't forget to put that notification bell on so that you can see when I am posting. Thank you so much for watching and everybody stay safe. See you next time, bye.